just get back up, you know, you down, just get back up. It was February 6th, 2012 when Chauncey Billups went down, a season-ending Achilles injury that had many spectators wondering if that would be it for the veteran guard. At 35, the man endearingly referred to as Mr. Big Shot was already a five-time NBA All-Star with the 2004 championship under his belt, in which he was the finals MVP. For many, those credentials combined with the long, daunting process of a comeback might be enough to call it a career, but it's going to take more than that for Chauncey Billups to throw in the towel. You know, I've had so many twisted and sprained ankles and things like that, and um, I knew right away that it was different. You know, I couldn't get back up, couldn't really move it, didn't feel it, so I was like, man. Um, so they got me back to the locker room, and the doctor basically did a couple of tests and was like, man, I think it's your Achilles, you know. And um, right away, I was just, just so disappointed, you know, just so disappointed. And, you know, I thought the team was, was just playing great. We had finally kind of got it going. Um, I was feeling great, playing well. And, um, you know, I just initially thought about um, what the coming months would bring. And that would just be me being away from the game, you know, and automatically start thinking about, um, you know, this is my free agent year. You know, this is a big year for me. It's a big time for me. And just a disappointment, you know, it's just, uh, it's just tough. It's just tough. So once I got over that, it didn't really take long because I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that, you know, I've learned through my years to, to just move forward. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever happens, just deal with it and move on. And um, I never looked at it like I wouldn't make it back. I never, not one day, thought that or said that. Um, and in my heart, I was just like, all right, this, this is what it is. All oh, they said, I can't come back. That, that's just motivation for me because it's funny, like not even 24 hours went by and everybody was like, oh, he must be done. He's going to retire. He's this, that. And I'm just like, wow. I mean, I, I think I at least showed everybody different in my career, you know, the, of the obstacles, obstacles that I've been able to, to trump, you know. So it's just another chance for me to come back and, and, and show the world my grit and grind. The early stages it was just a little boring. You had a surgery and you're kind of sitting around, laying around, just waiting on the wound to heal. Really can't do anything. Um, just sit there, just kind of chill, watch TV. Did you have a favorite show to watch while you were bedridden? Man, I just was TV on everything, man, and just watching everything. But, um, you know, I, I watch a lot of little series, you know, on TV series. Like, um, I watched The Whole Wire over again. Um, House of Lies is one of my shows. Regular Show House uh, is one of my shows. I just, you know, I just, I, I spent a lot of time in front of the TV, man. As an athlete, you're so used to moving around and being able to get up and go and do what you got to do, and now you ground it, you know. You ground it for the first two or three months of it, two months probably. Um, and it was a tough little process, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm, I'm so focused on returning and returning stronger than ever, so. It's like, it's just a part of it. It's just a part of the plan. What's your rehab process been like? What's your schedule? Um, I rehab from Monday to Friday. So on Mondays, um, Wednesdays and Fridays are, are my hard days. Uh, I'll come here to the practice facility and I will do um, some Alter G treadmill stuff. I'll do my pool work, mostly. And then I'll leave here and I'll go to my regular schedule um, rehab, which is in Santa Monica, and I'll go from 12 to 2 there, where they do a lot of manual stuff, working on scar tissue, breaking the scar tissue down, which isn't fun. And um, from there, I'll train in the back. Um, I think this, the, the opportunity this has given me to sit back and just get my body together, it's not just my Achilles that I'm working on. Um, I had a lot of other issues, like my hips was tight, my hip flexors, my glutes, uh, my core, all of those kind of things. Um, it's given me an opportunity to really you know, just, just, just basically just tear my body down and build it back up again. While the process can be tedious and sometimes painful, Chauncey stays focused on attaining his goal, a strong comeback that will be well worth it. I'm, I'm appreciating the process um, more than I did at the start of it because I'm able to do a lot more now um, and I'm able to see the differences in my body and my body's I'm looking good and, and, and looking in shape and stuff, even though I can't like play a basketball game. Um, I can see what's going on, the transformation, yeah. Tell you what, it's, it's, it's really 
been a, a, a blessing in disguise. It really has. Because like you said, I mean, I, I haven't had this opportunity in my entire career to, to have the time to really strip my body down and look at all the deficiencies that I had and have the time to work on them. So um, it's given me that opportunity and I'm, I'm gonna take full, full advantage of that. How do you see the process playing out? I, I see me coming back and um, me being much better than I was before, you know. Um, and obviously, you know, my, my age is not going the other way. So um, I'm not getting younger, but I do feel like um, the opportunity to get my body together is gonna have me feeling a lot younger and feeling better every single day. So um, I honestly, I, I look to come back and once I'm 100%, I look to, you know, be playing at a very high level again. For more on the Clippers, check out clippers.com and for ticket information, call 866-4-CLIPPERS.